Federal Transportation Administration says it will take immediate action because of extreme safety concerns on the MBTA. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in Boston for us tonight. Louisa, the FTA said that they're going to begin inspecting trains and buses immediately. Paula, those inspections could happen as early as this week. And a family of a, of a man who died from a T malfunction last month hopes this will be the change that will prevent future safety incidents. Uh, it's been a month, uh, but it's like it happened yesterday. So. It's been one month since Robinson Leyland was dragged to his death by a red line train at Broadway Station. He had to die. Uh, by your negligence. But now the Leyland family says they have some reason to hope for change. News that the Federal Transit Administration is extremely concerned about a slew of safety incidents involving the T. In a letter sent to T management in April, the FTA wrote, FTA leadership recently discussed the pattern of safety incidents with MBTA executive leadership, yet it remains unclear what actions the MBTA board and executive team are implementing to prevent and address the system's safety violations. In January, a commuter rail train struck a woman's car in Wilmington, killing her because crossing gates did not activate in time. In September, a red line train derailed at Broadway Station with 47 passengers aboard. Thankfully, no one was injured. And two days before that, an escalator malfunctioned at Back Bay Station, causing people to pile up and receive bloody injuries. Last July, two green line trains collided on Com Ave, sending 27 to the hospital. This is a process that we are pleased to cooperate with. T General Manager Steve Poftak says the T has invested roughly $8 billion into infrastructure in the last five years. But if federal inspectors find gaps, he says the T will fix them. We've almost doubled the size of the safety department in the last two years. The Leyland family is skeptical. You guys got to tighten up and get it together because you're, you're literally uh, uh, damaging people's lives. General Manager Poftek says he rides the T. He says it is safe, and he also says the T has completed 40 out of 61 recommendations by a safety panel and is working on completing more. Live in Boston, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.